I have never seen so many anti-fanboy vultures circling over a video game as they are with Kingdom Hearts 3. No spoilers, not to worry there, but let's talk about the most pitiful subsection of gamer personality I've yet to see, the anti-fanboy. Imagine a fanboy. Now imagine the opposite. That's an anti-fanboy. The anti-fanboy is a lowly pile of loose shit. It has no firmness or structure, it's just strewn about in a pile and it takes like four handfuls of toilet paper to clean up. The anti-fanboy will find a game other people are enjoying and they will take it upon themselves to become the arbiter of that enjoyment's destruction. They will hop from comment section to comment section under videos and streams of people liking the game they're playing, and they will do their very darndest to kill the mood and post about how trash and worthless that game is and how stupid everyone is for liking it. They are maggots. Putrid, crusty, parasitic maggots that line the bowels of regular humans and feed off their bile. Tapeworms in human form, but not with human brains. Downright disgraces to their families, disappointments to their parents, pariahs to their siblings, and fuck. If they have children, I'm calling social services right now. An anti-fanboy is not someone who just points out a game's flaws and enjoys it regardless, and allows other people to like what they like. An anti-fanboy is personified hatred, insecurity, and worthlessness packaged into an ugly sack of unfuckable flesh destined to be accompanied only by its misery the rest of its desolate life. It, not he, not she, it has an earned agenda. Anti-fanboys are Satan's gift to YouTube. I truly cannot understand how people minding their own business liking a game are triggering you like a remote detonator where you subsequently feel the need to aim your explosion at people having fun. This does not compute with me. Episode one, let people like things. How much disarray is your life in? How much of a disaster is your entire existence and why can't you avoid bringing other people into it? I 100% believe every single one of these people need a near-death experience to scare the psychological shit out of them and reboot their appreciation neurons, and if it doesn't work, then kill yourself. Meat and words have one thing in common. I don't know how to mince either of them. You can't stand people enjoying things you don't like? Fucking die, dude! Write yourself a new expiration date and throw yourself in the trash the day before, just in case. Find a companion in three-week-old milk. Join your new friends at the top of the landfill. You're the worst humanity has to offer, and it should really stop offering it, because nobody wants to buy that shit. Get therapy! If you can't muster enough goodwill in your heart to bid everyone else farewell, go pay a therapist to make her want to kill herself as she tries to parse the hostile minefield of your psyche without kicking a stool over and going limp. Have you just resigned yourself to being insufferable? Is it something you own now? The one part of your life you have control over? You're not making a choice. You're not exercising freedom. You're cowering in your last resort mentality because you're terrified of being counted among the rest of society and losing your outcast street cred. Let me tell you something. Cynicism isn't brave. Anti-fanboys are like radical cynics. It's not noble, it's not even difficult, it's laziness. If it's your default setting, you're in trouble. But people romanticize being dead inside. It's cool. Oh, look at me, I can't feel things. I mean, I can, I just choose not to because it's more comfortable to me and I don't like being outside my comfort zone because I'm such a badass. I'm done with cynicism. I peddled it at the start of my YouTube career, it's over. There's nothing to be gained from it. It's a barrier from real experience. It isn't admirable. Unless you think watching someone walk through life with a protective bubble around them is admirable, cynicism is a safe space where everything is overhyped and disappointing and you can't even enjoy the few things you do like because subconsciously you reflect the rest of the world as garbage in comparison and bring yourself down, reminding yourself that you live in such a garbage world where only these few things are good. Cynicism is just one radical step away from contempt, and contempt is the jizz that spawns anti-fanboys. But Kingdom Hearts 3 has ignited this fury. Where there's smoke, there's fire. It didn't deliver on some people's expectations, just like every game ever made. I reiterate, most people like Kingdom Hearts 3. I ran a Twitter poll that got 700 votes. 80% of people said Kingdom Hearts 3 did not disappoint them. But some of the 20% have a feedback loop of shit going on constantly, echoing their voices to each other and making them sound louder than they are. And certainly with Kingdom Hearts 3 being the anti-casual YouTube game reviewer game, hatred of it has been popularized. Make no mistake, some of the prominent YouTube channels reviewing Kingdom Hearts 3 negatively are doing so in no small part out of spite for the game making them have 
to actually know shit about it to accurately judge its story and characters. Other games are easy. You can just play them by themselves, make a quick video, get your 3 million views, and earn your $6,000. Kingdom Hearts 3 requires background info. It disrupts their formula, but they don't have to learn any of it if they just give some surface-level take on why the fact that they don't understand it is the game's fault for not spoon-feeding them 12 games worth of lore throughout a single story. I saw someone say once, if a game's story isn't accessible to newcomers from any point in the series, it's a bad story. You're high as a kite. Let me translate what you just said back to you. If a game's story doesn't cater to my unwillingness to start it from the beginning and reward me for not giving a shit, it's a bad story. You're a lazy, holier-than-thou aristocrat who wants their maid to serve up their plot points on a silver platter in any order they choose. You don't get that with a story that has any kind of depth. So, these videos are my catharsis. This one, my previous rant video about KH3 not being disappointing, that video, by the way, is the most hate I've ever gotten on a video, bar none. The anti-fanboys were out in force. Luckily, the regular fanboys and the moderates were there in much larger numbers, just like they are in general. Always remember we're the majority. Even my final thoughts and boss ranking videos are retroactive catharsis, before I knew how much I'd be glad they exist to stem the tide of sewage. At least I can profit off other people's misery. That KH3 Not Disappointing video is a real moneymaker. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Become a channel member to support me further and get access to a new exclusive Discord server I'm in, among other stuff. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at SunburnedAlbino, and I'll see you guys next time.